UPC delivers the best when it comes to professional quality cables with their Aegis sleeve. Perfect for any enthusiast build. Click the link in the description to learn more. Hey, so what's up guys? It's Brennan's PC Tech here and I told you guys I'd do a sleeving tutorial here. Sorry about the weird camera angle. So today I'm just going to sleeve a single ATX pin cable. Now some of the tools you'll need. First you'll need your wire crimper. This is meant for I think 16 to 24 gauge wire. I got that from UPC. You're going to also need a wire stripper. Any wire stripper will do. It's just the handheld ones like this take a whole lot less time to do it way quicker and easier. Another big tool. Not just an, any ordinary wire stripper. It has a flush edge so you can get a perfect cut every time. And then you're going to obviously need your tools to remove the pins. Your ATX pin remover and your Molex pin remover. And most importantly a lighter. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your wire out. Since this is just for video purposes, I'm not going to measure this out like I would if I was going to, let's say, make something for somebody. So let's just say this is like so many inches. Cut it there. What we're going to do, take the, crimp, the wire stripper, strip both ends of the wire. Now that we've done that, this is usually always a bit too big, so we're going to cut that in half. You can see that right there. So you see how big that is afterwards? Let the camera focus in here. It's not wanting to focus. You see the point though. So we cut that right there. And then what we want to do, we want to get one of each male and female ATX pins. See, they have to be both facing the same way, which is a little hard when you're doing a round wire. So I like to find whatever side the text is on the wire and face that up to the crimp. Let me just change the focus here for a second here. Is that better? a little bit better. Wasn't wanting to autofocus for me. So then we're going to take our crimper. We're going to put the pin into that with the text face up and crimp the wire. So now we have our, this is a male ATX pin crimped on. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to grab our female ATX pin and we're going to put this on the other side of the wire. Put that on there. Kind of, It's easier if you crimp the ends a little bit with your fingers. Just kind of wrap them around the wire so it stays on long enough for you to put it in the crimper to actually get that good crimp on there. So see, now we're done. So we have our female and male ATX connectors onto the wire. So now what we're going to do we take our sleeve, let's just pull a little bit out here. We put it up to the edge of the connector. So I don't know how well you guys can see this. Put it up to the edge of the connector. We pull it tight to the other end of the connector, which is where we cut it. So if you see here, it goes from one connector to the other, stretched out the cable. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Now the way I'm showing you guys here is the heat, shrink heat shrinkless method. There's a few ways of doing this. You can keep the heat shrink on if you would like. It won't fit in most cable combs. I have to beware you on that. So heat shrinkless, you're wondering why am I pulling out the heat shrink? That's because we're going to take it off in a moment after we melt the connector down. So I like to get about three um, above the cut's worth. So like three widths of this is about the best way to say it. I don't know, I'd say it's about maybe four millimeters, almost a centimeter of uh, heat shrink. 
put your sleeve over the edge of the crimp and then put your heat shrink on it. So what you're doing here is you're putting the heat shrink on the edge of the crimp so whenever you um, melt the heat shrink and shrink it up it's going to compress the wire around the crimp and you're gonna get the flame really hot on it sorry you can't really see that too well it's more focusing on the flame here Logitech's not wanting to work for me on here sorry about that you guys so you're going to want to do this kind of rotate the cable above the flame don't necessarily put it into the flame or you're going to melt the sleeve too much. Just hold it a little bit away, more towards the connector. The connector might get a little bit black on here and get burnt, but that's fine. It's metal. It's not going to hurt anything. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your pliers or your um, wire cutters, get underneath that heat shrink and cut it off. So now let me focus this in for you guys. So, give it a minute. See it right there? See that nice, perfect weld on that? That's what you're looking for. So you're gonna be looking for that whenever you get this all done. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're going to grab our end and we're going to push the sleeve all the way up and get it as tight on here as we can. Because the idea is we want the sleeve as tight and as thin and as I guess more professional and all we want it all the same and all to have that nice crisp professional look. Now I buy UPC's products they make you talk about some professional nice grade stuff this is the best stuff you can use mainframe also I'm not gonna shame on them they also make some decent um, stuff I haven't really tried it I mean I personally don't like their extensions because of how they crimp their cables they use another method instead of the melting now which is a little less reliable so I like to stick with the old school heat shrink with melting method and so does our, um, my friend Adam over at UPC he's the owner over there he'll sleeve all the extensions I do believe and he does a great job he actually made the 24 pin 8 pin and 6 pin in my main computer so let's finish this up here should be about good so now we're going to just kind of pat this together I didn't know if I said that on the last one. You kind of pat it down whenever it's hot, and now we're going to put this underneath here and cut it off. That, and there we go. So we now have another perfect melt on there. So now what you would want to do, I have an 8-pin connector right here. I'm going to unclip these. And your square end is obviously going to go on the square connector. So we're going to put this in here. This is why I said they both have to be facing up. Because whenever you put them in the connector, for it to go in the connector at the other end, it has to be facing up. So see how we have this perfectly straight? And both ones are symmetrical? We did that because we lined both the pins up before we crimped them on there. So since they're both crimped on there, you'll end up with something straight like this. And then the end result will be a cable like this, where all of the uh, colors line up. These ones have cable combs on them. All of the colors line up perfectly. If you notice here, there's no burn marks and there's no heat shrink showing. It's perfect. This is why it's called the Hink Shrink with Method. You take it off, it's melted, and it's perfectly on there. This is the only method UPC uses, and it is a great method. It works perfectly, holds onto the cables tightly. You can pull on them, nothing will come out loose. I stand by UPC's products, and this is how they do all of their sleeving. It's um, phenomenal. You can look at any of the pictures on my computers, my Instagram can even look at their Instagram stuff. All of them are exactly the same and they all do use this amazing method. So 
If you like the video and the tutorial, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Comment if you want anything else.